to put another dime in the jukebox, baby. I love rock and roll, so come and take the time and dance with me. I urgently need a rock band. And here's a drum set. I love rock and roll. I love rock and roll. Oh, my feta, Sammy. I thought it was an earthquake. You stole my catchphrase. And you stole my piece. Could you explain it all? I am trying to master playing drums, but I guess it's not my cup of tea. I think I should look for inspiration in keyboards. And of course you want me to make them for you. Who else, Sue? You're lucky that I always have a new craft in reserve. Hooray! I'm a cowboy on a steel horse ride! Hi, guys. When Sam's got new ideas, the whole house goes bananas. Today, it's a musical craft. I'll make a small piano for Sam using an old xylophone. And my favorite, cardboard. We have lots of it here. Means you're ready to help me with cutting out the parts? Sure. It's in my best interest. You can make the keys for our future piano, and I'll start with the body. And the glue gun. Guys, remember, it's very hot. Be careful. Do you remember that a piano has black and white keys? Yep, but I forgot why. Each white key is a separate note. Do, re, mi, and so on. The sound difference between the white do and re is a whole step. That means re is one whole step higher than do. By the mozzarella, I remember why we need the black point. These are the half steps. A little higher than do, but a little lower than re. That's right, Sammy. You're really good at music theory. I think you'll master our mini piano very quickly. Do you agree, guys? Give a thumbs up. For the round part of the piano, we'll use the flexible cardboard. To make it flexible, I slightly cut the upper layer. We'll put two layers of cardboard, because the real piano body has to be solid so it can hold all the mechanism parts. Our parts will be held by wire hinges. Let's make them carefully using the pliers, like this. Snip, snip, snip. Here we go. And a couple more fastenings like this. Tell me, could we make a musical instrument from rubber bands? Hmm, maybe, but you better bring them here. Guys, in the meantime, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell. Rubber phone! Sue, I made it! Sammy, oh, I can't make any musical sound. Alright, we'll see how you'll make music with rubber bands. I'll do it very well. Check out how nicely they all set here. Soon it's your turn, Sammy. Did you prepare the keys? Oopsie! You distracted me talking! Let's proceed with our craft while Sammy's busy with making the keys. Guys, do you remember when we spoke about black and white piano keys? I glued these cute shapes exactly for the black ones. True to say, they're only decorative. They won't make sounds, but shh, don't say a word to Sam. About what? What do you mean? Not a word to Sam. Ugh, okay, I give up. You got me. I didn't want to tell you, but the black keys won't make any sounds. <laughs> That's it? You thought I would be upset? So there's a whole bunch of white ones I can play. Oh, I love your positive view of life, Sammy. Also, Sammy is a real cardboard pro. He got without any hints that the keys should be made out of several cardboard layers. Of course, we've made lots of cardboard crafts with you. At this stage, we need to be super accurate because we're gonna glue the xylophone parts onto the wooden base. See? Like this. Sammy, I heard something falling. What's wrong? Uh, I just wanted to check something. Would you like to share the results? Sure, Susie. Oh, where did you find these? They were on the table. They look like real candies, but actually they're hard and heavy. <laughs> yep, it's a challenge to gnaw on them. Wow, these strips remind me of colorful gum sticks. I hope you're not gonna chew them. Don't repeat my mistakes. Now the keys look a little crooked, but once we insert them into the rubber bands, everything will be perfect. Whoa. 
And now I need these marbles. They'll be pounding on the xylophone. So, does it work the same way with a real piano? No, a real piano is a more complicated system, but the sound-making technology is almost the same. Small hammers pound on the strings inside and the sound comes out. There are other keyboards, like an organ and a harpsichord. And what's the difference? Well, a harpsichord is a keyboard stringed instrument. The mechanism plucks the strings like a guitar. An organ is a keyboard brass. Instead of strings, it has a whole system of pipes. Some organ pipes can be as tall as a small cottage. Wow! If I to make a cardboard organ shoe, it'll be our most epic craft. Then we'll need tons of cardboard, Sammy. <laughs> I'm afraid it's nearly impossible. Shoe? Impossible is a bad word. Don't say it when I'm around. Okay. Guys, watch closely. Here's the big moment. The installation of the musical elements. Now let's make our piano look like a real one by adding some special elements. Like... The lid, which we can open and close. Indeed. Our piano needs some fresh air, too. <laughs> right. Like this. Sammy, did you already come up with the opening song for your concert? I wanted to compose my own, but you're finishing, so I have no time. Then choose one of the greatest hits. What about rock classics? Queen or ACDC or, ooh, something more modern like Imagine Dragons? No, Sue. Uh, you're finishing? I'll write a couple of verses anyways. Good luck, Sammy. I believe in you. Guys, let's summon the muse for our artist. Give a thumbs up! By the way, did you know that according to the myths, there are nine muses, one for each kind of art? For example, Sam can make friends with Euterpe, the muse of poetry and lyrics. And our almost scientific craft will be favored by Urania, the muse of science. May I present the great maestro, Sam? Shoo, you messed up! I'm a rock star! Rock star Sam! Follow my lead! This music is the best in the world! Where Slum, Santa, my friend, Shoo, like rock! A little clumsy, Sammy, but sounds quite cool! Hey, everyone! Today we're having an unusual unboxing. It's a real boombox, but made of cardboard. What do you mean, cardboard? Tell me more! <laughs> Guys, this is how our future boombox will look like. It has Bluetooth wireless audio and six acrylic Montana markers. It is 100% recycled cardboard. There are also two 5-watt powerful speakers and a do-it-yourself kit. Let's check the other side. <gasps> Customize your own design! What's in the box? Here we can see all of the contents. <laughs> and we can connect it to various devices with a headphone jack or Bluetooth. So I was just passing by with a cutter. Do you need anything open? Oh, you're just in time. Can you help me open this box? Yeah, sure. I'm on it. Here we go. Oh, Sammy, be careful. So I'm a professional. Let's finally open it! Whoa! The instructions and the boombox base! Wow, guys! Check out all this cool stuff! Let's take a closer look. The first item is the set of acrylic markers of different colors. They are water-based and we'll use them for the decoration. Next comes the handle. Hmm. Let's check out the next bag. I wonder what's in there. Oh, looks like a mini city, right? This will control the volume. And this is for the batteries, the power source of our boombox, an audio cable, and a micro USB cable. And our precious speakers, of course! Up! Yay! 
two 5-watt speakers for powerful sound. It's time to assemble our boombox. We'll follow the instructions. Sammy, will you help? Of course, with my help, we'll assemble it in no time. So, Sue, first you need to unfold the cardboard base. Uh -huh. That's right. Okay. Then you need to close the side thingies. Oh, uh, which side thingies? These side thingies. Oh, I see. Yes! All right, we'll fold them like this. Uh, Sammy, what's next? You need to fold side and the back walls. Yes, yes, you're doing good. Oh. Yeah, you're a great instructor, Sammy. <laughs> With you, everything's coming out fast and fun. So together, we'll assemble it really fast. <laughs> ha! And now take the speakers. I'll insert the speaker into a special slot. And the second speaker. We'll have the most powerful cardboard boombox ever. We'll check that bit later. And now we need to connect the speakers to the board. Okay, first we'll connect it to the right speaker. Here we go. And then the left speaker. And now we need to connect the micro USB port to our boombox. To do it, we need to unscrew one piece like this. Applying a bit of pressure here. Great. And let's place the nut back. Don't forget to connect the USB port to the board! Oh, thanks, Sammy. What would I do without you? All right, now let's set the board on its place. So, according to the instructions, we need to unscrew the nut, then the washer. Up. We need to insert it into this opening. So what's next? Ops cable! <laughs> Sammy! <Whee! laughs> let's insert one tip here. And the other tip goes in through the opening. And the last thing is the power module. Hop! Perfect! The final step is to place the module into its slot. It's assembled! You wouldn't have done it without me! Oh, Sammy, you're my hero! <laughs> but we're not done yet! Ugh. We need to insert the batteries. And hide them. Click! Turn it over! Oh, I almost forgot about the washer and the nut. <laughs> You'll need this lever, too. Oh, I sure will. This lever goes right on top. Done. Let's start on the handle. Hmm, I think I need Sam's assistance here. Uh-huh, the handle. Let's see. Ah, there, you need to fold the edges, then the middle, then fold up. Whoa, 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 whoa. let's do it step by step. Take a look yourself. <sighs> fold the sides. Let me see. Oh, easy. And this side, too. Okay. One more. Then the middle, like this. Yes! And then one more time. Then we need to connect the two middle parts, like this. And finish with the side parts. All we need to do now is attach our handle to the boom box. There are special slots for it on the top. Wow, this boom box is awesome! Now it's time to start decorating. Right, Sammy. But first, we need to do a light outline. With a pencil. Done! Graffiti! I love graffiti! Now, let's do the outline with the Montana marker. Fun facts! The first boombox was invented in 1975 by twin brothers Stacy and Scott Wolfall. Boomboxes became very popular thanks to different types of street activities, such as jam sessions and dance battles in the 1980s. However, there were fewer boomboxes sold in shops. And voila! Let's start coloring! Okay, carefully now. The next letter will be yellow. I love these bright colors! The blue marker is for the last letter, S. Guys! May I present to you the front part of our boombox? Not bad, 
Tetsu, now allow Master Sam to show you how to paint graffiti! It's incredible, Sam, but don't you think it's missing something? Huh, what? A big explosion! Oh, time to hide! Whoosh! <laughs> can I come out yet? Yes, you can. You'd make a great fireworker. <laughs> oh, let's check out your work. Whoa, are you blasting all the meanings? I'll leave an autograph on our boombox. It's my turn! Finally, we can try it out! Let's take the phone... So, it's time to connect our boombox. Play music. Wow, the sound is awesome! So, add more volume! May I play my music? <laughs> sure, Sammy. <laughs> Oopsie, wrong one. Uh, there, I found it. Awesome, Sammy! Guys, give a thumbs up if you liked this video. And subscribe to the channel not to miss new ones. Bye-bye!